Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the heterogeneous recycler view. What we'll be talking about how to display a complex card view right there inside the recycler layout. I'll be heading straight to Adobe Studio where I have the source file and I'll be explaining uh, in details on how to create a complex recycler view. We're actually going to be using two different item layouts and uh, we're going to be using two adapters which will be tied together by one main adapter we are not actually going to replicate recycler view so this is actually going to make you avoid replicating recycler view over and over in your layout we only have one recycler view and which will be inflated to two different uh, layouts let's get to look at how it flows right there in the gradle scripts I have the build gradle is the model app session uh, you need some dependencies to make uh, to create a basic recycler view and card view whereby you have the support design very important that's where the recycler view sits and you have the card view of uh, 25.3.1 these are all from the version 7 uh, support from Android afterwards you synchronize Gradle and have your application ready you move straight to the rest let's go to and let's look at all the layouts are. We have five different layouts here. The activity main, which is the launcher layout. We have the horizontal XML. We have the horizontal single row. That's for each item. That's for the horizontal. Now, now we actually want to make these uh, look more of applications should be seen out there. Or by you get to have a vertical scroll. Afterwards, you find horizontal right in the middle. You wonder how they get to uh, achieve that. Actually, achieve that using uh, the heterogeneous style of displaying recycler view. It's a complex way uh, whereby you inflate different adapters to control the look and feel on the layout. That's what I'll be showing you right there. Now we have the horizontal and the vertical. Now we have the horizontal item, which is for each single card row and the vertical. Let's get to look at the, the activity main. This is a basic relative layout that houses the recycler view over here. Can you see that? With an ID called recycler view, and we give it a background of a light gray. Let's get to look at the horizontal XML. We have the recycler view, which is actually for the horizontal layout. Let's get to look at the single row of each horizontal. That's what we want uh, that's a card you know it can be an item you know, but majorly we are using the card view to actually make it display perfectly uh, we have the card view as the parent tag and uh, we actually nested a linear layout right inside here that matches parents for the width and height and this orientation is vertical just like what you're seeing displayed over here let's get to bring this larger you see that that's for the horizontal card you know that has the image view uh, a text view which is actually the title and uh, we have a view uh, that actually houses uh, the background which is like uh, a gradient overlay you know and we have another text view which is for the description and uh, the publish date so those are the items that will actually be sitting on the horizontal Row. Let's get to look at the vertical. We have the recycler view for the vertical, and uh, we have each item that will actually sit in the vertical, just like the normal recycler view we are used to. You know, that's uh, the items, which is the image view, uh, and uh, the text for the title and for the description. You know, so now. We're going to actually bind them together. Can you see that we never replicated two recycler view right there in a, lay in a layout? We have it in separate layouts. You know, that's the best way to actually handle our, a complex uh, display of recycler view and card view. From here, we'll be heading straight to the classes that actually binds all these together. Right there, in the package we have some sub packages like the adapter, Pojos. Uh, Pojos is uh, just like uh, the set and get. Uh, they actually help the help methods field right there that help you to actually bind your 
data down to its adapter. You know, they hold on to data and binds them for you. So we actually created a podio for the horizontal and for the vertical. You know, probably you need different items for the horizontal. You need different items for the vertical. You need separate podio. You know, or if you probably have using one item or the same or unique item for the vertical and the horizontal, you can decide to please to use just a single podio. But we have different trick of uh, values, so that's why we have two different podios here. Let's get to look at the first one, which is the horizontal that takes in a constructor, which takes in images straight tied to the description and the published date that appropriate data type so we have that set and get you know, if you're familiar with this you should, you know, you should know how to actually set and get the created fields which were created over here Let me see that that's for the single horizontal let's get to look at for the vertical in the vertical we also create we created three fields header sub header and image but different from the horizontal that's what i mean that's why we have to create two different projects we have the header, sub header, and the image. So, right then, the vertical card, we are going to be displaying header, sub header, and image. In the horizontal, uh, we will be displaying images tied to description and the published date. That's what that is doing. Adding straight to the main activity. So, let's uh, calm down, understand how this actually works and how they have been tied together. Actually, I coded string values. This is not a good uh, uh, way to do things, but it's just for demo purpose, that's why it's uh, been done this way. Most times, you shift all string values to the strings XML, you know, so you make reference to that so that uh, you actually don't uh, get it uh, modeled up, you know, you just call it from the string. So if you are making any change, just go straight to the strings and make the change. And it's also good when you're trying to, uh, to publish your application for different, that's localization for different languages. So you easily, uh, uh, when you you easily translate your strings XML uh, items, you know, once you have them translated, definitely all your app, uh, app coded or strings have been translated. So that will help you, you know, to actually do that. So that's the main reason why you actually need to shift all strings values down to the string XML. But this is a demo, we're actually not doing that. For production, please that to notice and uh, let's let's back to the main activity now we set the content um, view which is the activity main which is the launcher fine uh, we try to instantiate the recycler view whereby we call its header or its id rather uh, called recycler view and we have an object of recycler view we also instantiated the adapter you know that's the main adapter we are going to pass this Values to the main adapter. The main adapter now ties uh, the two other adapters as it flows. Now we set the adapter of the recycler view to the objects created here, and we passed in one thing here, which is the get object, which actually takes us down to the array list object. You know, you have to pass in uh, probably a list, a cursor, or some values down to your adapter. Now we are passing in the get object. So what? Uh, in this get object, it's an array list of objects, and uh, now we have the get vertical data and the get horizontal data. So this is where we have actually that's where the, the data source, you know, and we are passing in two data sources from the vertical and from the horizontal. Now from the vertical, which is the get vertical data, it's taking a single vertical podio as its generic class, and it's an array list. About we actually instantiate new array list now we add up data to this particular uh, array list called single verticals so these are the data which i actually said are coded strings which can actually be from uh, probably uh, the cloud you know you can actually be from an api you know probably calling apis uh you get those data uh it can actually be from somewhere else majorly from probably a database or an api or at coded just like what I've done. You know, that's the three forms that you can actually get data into your Android application. So we actually have it done for Charlie Chaplin, Mr. Bean, and for Chip 
carry. Those are the three uh, aspects. And if you should notice, we actually itemize it in the way it sits right there in the podio, which is for title, description, and for image. Just like what we have for the single vertical. Let's quickly look at it. The single vertical, which is header, sub header, and image. You know. All right. Let's go back. Now for the get horizontal, just the same flow with the vertical. Now we created the single horizontal array list from uh, the generic of the single horizontal class, which is the pojo, and uh, we add up. Now this time, first of all, is the image uh, before the title, before the description. Can you see how it's been uh, done? And before what other thing? I think the date. So let's get to look at the horizontal. Get to see it. We have the images, the title, description, and the published date. So that's fine. You can see it's actually tallying, it's working. So after that, we have there. We have to return the array list, which is for the single vertical and for the single horizon. So anytime you call this get horizontal data method, it returns this single horizontal. The same thing goes for the vertical, it returns the single vertical. So that's just what that does. So now we need to add the two objects you know, to a method called get objects so that they will be used. And we call the identifier get zero, which is the first index of the two. And we return the objects. So now we've been able to return these two our uh, data value, which we actually passed right there into the main adapter so that we can actually push it down to the main adapter to so actually set or bind values that takes us down to the main adapter where the uh, allocation has been done. You know, we actually allocated it to the different adapter. Let's go to the main adapter, which is the central point adapter, uh, which extends the recycler view. Fine. Now we have its constructor that takes in context and the items are released with an object. Just like you know, we passed an object, we are not passing. For each one now, we're passing it as an object. From here, we'll now be able to split them out. So we start, we initialize them over here. And uh, we have the create view order. You know, Baba, we are need we are going to inflate their item uh, list. You know, so now we have a view type. You know, that is uh, a view type right there uh, from uh, out of the box from Android, which is from the create view order. Uh, this is where we're going to our test on but before we continue on that we actually created two finite integers for the vertical and the horizontal which is one and two this is just like an identifier uh, that we did right there and uh, we have the array list of items where we're going to take our count on now the first case we're going to use a switch to actually know which uh, inflation we should do for the vertical and for the horizontal the first case is for the vertical now we're going to inflate the vertical XML, which is over here, uh, that has uh, the, the single row vertical. And uh, we're going to actually inflate the horizontal XML when it's the horizontal. You know, that's what we've done there. Now let's see how we bind the view order. You know, on a normal day, if it's a normal adapter, you bind it and you display. But no, we need to still apportion it to two other adapters to undo that for us. Now on bind view order, we call the get item view type, which is which view type are we talking about? If it's vertical, uh, we're passing the vertical view order. And if it's horizontal, we're passing the horizontal view order. So let's look at the vertical view order, which is over here, which is the vertical view. Uh, this is where we actually instantiated the adapter of each one you know, now we instantiated the adapter of the vertical uh, well we, we did it this way and we passed its data as well because once you're calling it you must call it with its corresponding added uh, parameter so the get vertical data as the parameter for the vertical and uh, if you notice we call it recycler view it has some space uh, recycler view and we set the layout manager which layout are we uh, using for this uh, vertical adapter, which is a linear layout. So if you are using a grid, you pass it in. If you are using, so that's where you actually pass. So you can actually have a grid inclusive. You can have a staggered grid 
it's not uh, just uh, limited to linear layout. You know, that's just what that means. And we set the adapter to the data from the get vertical data here, which is now the adapter one. The same thing we go for the horizontal, you know, just like the way we've done, uh, which actually calls on the linear layout manager horizontal this time. You know, the linear layout manager is horizontal, not uh, so that's actually going to make it horizontal. That's what that does, and we need the get horizontal data you know, so that we can easily pass it down to its adapter called horizontal adapter. You can see the way we separated uh, these ad the, the adapters. You know, the vertical adapter takes on the get vertical data, while the horizontal adapter takes on the get horizontal data. Now we have the get item count. What about we return the size of the array list that we actually got from the adapter, from the constructor rather, the main adapter, that's the items. So we have to return the size. Now we still have the get view item type. You know, that's this method that was called somewhere here, get view item type over here. This method, let's see what the method does. It actually gets the position, which if it's an instance of the single vertical or an instance of the single horizontal, so it returns, you know, just returns vertical for vertical, return horizontal for horizontal. But you have to use this uh, met method called instance of. So afterwards, we're going to have two different classes, which is the view order, the horizontal view order, and the vertical view. You can see the way we've, we've been separating you know, so that it's actually going, not going to model up. You know, it's it's uh, kind of a little complex, but once you get the framework behind it, you get it set and ready. You, know, you have the horizontal view order and you have the vertical view order. You know, they all have a recycler view and right inside there, you instantiate the recycler view by calling its ID and the same ID, you notice, that's what they use. So it's actually not not creating two different recycler view here and there. You know, that is actually going to make your code messy. You have the class for the vertical view. Now let's look for each adapter. The horizontal adapter that takes on the horizontal data and the vertical adapter that takes on uh, on the vertical uh, data. So which is over here, the, the vertical adapter and the horizontal adapter that takes on the get horizontal data. So let's get to look at the horizontal adapter that takes on data the same way we actually uh, get it rolling now we pass the data as uh, the parameter here so that's uh, where it comes in which was coming right from the main, ad main adapter and we override the uncreate view to actually call its item layout now called the horizontal single you know, the main adapter called the horizontal XML while the horizontal adapter, which is specific, unique to the horizontal adapter called the single rule, which is this. So actually binds up data right in. You can see where the journey is getting us to. So back to the horizontal adapter. And we have the unbind view order now. We can easily call on the description, call on the title, call on the published date and image, and set data to it appropriately. Can you see that? Now we need to count. For the data, which is the uh, the list coming, get the size, and from here we have its own view. Order. So this way you can extend further. You know, probably you want to set an on click or an item click to each card. You know, probably to a detail page or to do something else. So this way you extend from. You know, you extend the view order for each adapter. The same thing we go for the vertical, just like what we done from the horizontal you know we get the data uh, we bind the data to its uh, appropriate view now it's calling the single the vertical single row which is this you know now we're going to bind data right inside this uh, display so that's just what that is doing so it's just uh, a kind of uh, uh, mock with the horizontal adapter now we set we bind the data appropriately here we get the item count actually gets the size of the data 
and uh, we have its own view order as well that calls on uh, this is where you can also extend particular adapter so we have different clicks a click on horizontal adapter can take you to a different page or different activity while a click on the vertical adapter can take you to another activity so it's not the same they are now living separately but they are being inflated from the main adapter that's the gimmick so you can have different uh, card layouts right in a recycler view not uh it's not clumsy it's not hard once you follow the steps that are actually uh followed right there which you have to create the xml create the activity main xml create the horizontal xml which this uh is being handled from the main adapter you create the single row which is being handled from the uh horizontal adapter single row uh the vertical xml is being handled from the main adapter as well while the vertical single row is being handled from the vertical adapter that's the flow and you have the main act that the main activity that gets the data that pass the data as an object you know you pass it to get objects there are lists which are then converted to objects which the main adapter used up and the pojo is there for you to actually set and get data you know, you're passing data to the pojo to uh keep it temporarily and set it to its uh, corresponding view that's what that is doing and we have the main adapter, which is the center focus, that actually uh, inflates the two other adapters and are uh, called it's, uh, using the view type of the case, either vertical or horizontal, you call on its different layouts. So that's just what that's doing. It's straightforward. I'll be uploading the source code to my GitHub account and I'll be showing you the screen past of how these uh, application flow or probably the emulator. So, Take uh, advantage of this. This is a more uh, heterogeneous recycler. It's kind of complex and it's being used in application of these days you know, where you can lay on some Facebook, you get to see there, you get to see it in different Facebook applications. So,